and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab in this one, Dakota Hudson. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. This is Bryce Terang. Bryce Terang. Ball to strike the pitch. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Nice line drive to the pole side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's William Contreras. The pitch. Oh. And now two and one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Terang gets his lead at first with nobody out. Very high with that one. Ball three. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Base knock, and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at-bats. And now it's Christian Yelich. And now one and two. One ball, two straight. And that skips into dirt. First and second, no outs. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Rogers. Relay to first, double play. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Okay. Willie Adamas stands in. Two outs. And another ball. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Brewer strand one. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Back after this on the show. my pal Siggy today's starting pitcher Colin Ray well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side so in now for Colorado Brenton Doyle Gets under and pops it up. Drifts towards it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. And, Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Now, Ezekiel Tovar. Up and in, three and one.
One down, base is empty. That's and he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Batting third. Ryan McMahon third steps third. to the plate. Ryan McMahon. Rudder takes off. Cut oh. on and miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. The one two swing and a miss and he's down on strikes and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three and welcome back to the ballpark top of the second now it's the right fielder Sal Fralick And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And that one hammered back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Now the left fielder, Jackson Chorio. Check on the runner, and he's back safely. Pitch misses. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one is lifted in the air. Hilliard makes the move on it. Hilliard pulls it down. Blake Perkins up now for the Brewers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a pinch. And another ball. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. At the play, Andrew Monasterio. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Coming around third is Fralick. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. A couple of singles back to back. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. There's a swing and a drive. And that one hops the wall. One run is in. Headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in. And they lead by three. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, 
They're starting with this already. So digging in, William Contreras. And that's oh, off that's the inside edge. Two and one. Two one straight. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Rip to right, base hit. Around third, fires it to the plate, and he's out. Butt down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Back here at Coors Field. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. And the 3 1. And that's Thank ball you, four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't button. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And at first, now here is Michael Tolia. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. The Rockies trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two. One and two here. Line drive caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now here's Nolan Jones. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And the righty deals. Oh. That misses. And it's two and one. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Two one now. No, that one missed. That's the ball. Right hander kicks deals. Ball, ball. Inside ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty seven. much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Jacob oh, Stallings man. now. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Monasterio slings to first. They get the out on Stallings. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners in the scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. Here's Jake Cave now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Two on, two outs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Gets under it. And that's the third out. Two left for Colorado. They trail it here, three nothing. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the DH, Christian Yelich. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Sizes this one up, corrals it. One away. Now batting the shortstop. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. 
You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The right fielder, number 10. Sal Fralick up now for the Brewers. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And here it comes. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Hilliard right there to make the grab. And there's two away. The first baseman, number 12, Reese Hoskins. So a man aboard, and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball oh. to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Adamas, the runner at first with two gone. That one fouled off two and two. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Comes the 2 2. Cancel. In the dirt. Safe at second. And now a man into scoring position. Two outs and one in scoring position. And down on strikes he goes. And that will end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Sam Hilliard. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. High fly ball out to left field. Moving under it. And there's one down. The designated hitter, number nine. Brenton. So the lineup flips over. Doyle. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. One down, base is empty. Huh. In there at the knees, one and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. The 1 1. Up the middle, Terang. And that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still down, three nothing. Back here in Denver, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jackson Chorio. Out 
out towards right center field. And out number one on the grab. Blake Perkins up now for the Brewers. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters... They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And a ball in two strikes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, and there's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it, just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Right. Terang. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Stepping in, Bryce Terang. Perkins off of first with two away. Hudson throws over. Perkins dives back in safely. Swings through that one for strike two. One good two late strikes. sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Ripped on a line to center. Hilliard makes the grab. And that is that. Brewers strand one, but they lead it 3 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. There's a strike. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All-Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Throw to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Now a chance for Brendan Rodgers. Swing and a miss as he was late. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite. Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Snags it on the run. And there are two outs. The first baseman, number four. Michael. Here's Michael Tolia. Tolia. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two down, nobody on. And that one a little below the knees, and it's two and two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They trail in this one, three-nothing. Back here at Coors Field. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And... 
This kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother, and he smiled as well said yeah he's good and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually the pitch that one the other way makes the grab one away it's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove but you will get some high fives you know when you make great contact you feel like you've done everything right but in this game of baseball not everything is in your control here's Bud Black towards the mound and we're going to see a pitching change here Dakota Hudson done for the night. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Righty reliever out of the pen, Ryan Feltner. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Here's Yelich at the dish. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Two Slider balls. misses one outside. Break. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Ball. That's outside. outside. And now three and one. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Rogers throws to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Now batting, shortstop, really, Adama. Two outs, base is empty. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Two outs, base is empty. Next oh. offering is down low. And another ball. The line to kick the pitch. Fly ball pretty well struck right field. That's back. And it hits the fence. Around first heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Sal Fraley, the next to hit. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Runner at second, two down. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And it's second. The throw to first. And that is the third out of the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Nolan Jones. And the pitch and just the missed. All these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Fires over to Hoskins. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now Jacob Stallings. The Rockies hitless so far in the game.
Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. On the ground, right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. The one, two. And there's a ball. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Ripped on a line. Chorio makes the catch. Two away. The batter, the right fielder, Jake. Jake Cade Jay. digging in for the Rockies. Two outs. That's Outside low. They're now three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Two down. Nobody on. On the ground to third. Fires over to Hoskins. Three up, three down. Inning over. And we're back. Here's a big power threat. Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. On the ground, out to short. Throws to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. There's Jackson Churio. Not only is he young, Singy, he's the first player born in 2004 to reach the major leagues. Woo. Is that supposed to make us feel good about ourselves? No. Ground ball right side foul ball. and foul ball. One down, base is empty. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Blake Perkins. The 2 1. That one at the knees for a strike. Man at first, one away. Swung on, popped up, left side. Jones flashes the leather on the run and catch. Now that is third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. Andrew Monasterio getting ready to hit. Outside, and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Back to the top of the lineup. Up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. Two on, two outs. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. 
And that'll do it. No runs, a hit, two left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers three and the Rockies nothing. Back here in Denver, Vertigo. digging in, no Sam Rockies. Hilliard. The center fielder. Sam. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. No. That one just misses. Three balls, two strikes. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. In danger of losing the no hitter here. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and one away. Went right after him there, singing, no messing around. Three pitches right there, three really good fastballs in that at bat, but what stood out is all of them in a different part of the zone. He started them away. You look out over the plate as a hitter, and then he busts you in. You're not quick enough to be able to pull the trigger and turn on it. And then he finished up in the zone. Good velocity, caught the top part of that strike zone. That's a great example of how you mix your locations. Just as important as mixing speeds. One, two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the second out. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, let it break, and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with the cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, and I think he was also a little lucky right there. Two outs, base is empty. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Here's a 1 1. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Righty to the plate. Out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Safe at first. No play. We'll see how they score this. The third base. They're going to tag him with the error right there. That's the right ruling, so still no hits for the offense, but... Maybe this free base runner gives him something to get up for. It also forces him to work out of the stretch now on the mound, so we'll see how it affects it. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Oh. Two and two. Throw over to first. Safe and he's back in safely. I think you want to get a one way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter, not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score Great a ball, ball in the gap. That misses the zone, and the count's full. Brendan Rogers. Up next for the Rockies. Bounce to the left side. Fires over to Hoskins. That's the third out. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Number 41 on for his Major League debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. 
He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Line drive to short and caught. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Now it's Christian Yelich. Base is empty one away. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Next one misses. And a count two and one. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Justin Lawrence getting loose out there. Vodnik getting cranked up as well. One down, base is empty. This one ripped, but foul to the right. On the ground to first, and that squirts through. Makes the turn and heads for second. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Next for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. Lined, and that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 4 0. Comes through with the RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Wouldn't chase that time. The count two and one. On the ground left side, six, four, three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a four-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Brendan Rodgers. The 1-1. One -one. And strike two. One and two. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Two two now. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And there's ball, ball four. four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. 
you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And the right hander deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. The Rockies yet to pick up a hit here. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Next for Colorado, Nolan Jones. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Next offering is in for a strike. The Brewers have some bullpen action. Bryce Wilson, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Milner also throwing. Rogers over at first with one away. Next offering misses down and away. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Kicks and deals. Well struck left field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. He made a great run at it, Boog. I mean, he had their hitters off balance for the entire game up until this point. And maybe he didn't get all the way to 27 outs, but he deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, really fantastic effort. Gave us all a great show. And now we'll see what's left for him. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Colin Ray won't go any further tonight. And we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Obi Milner takes over on the mound. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. And he deals. Gets the call, one and two. The Brewers leading by four here at the bottom of the seven. Almost got him. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. Jake Pay digging in for the Rockies. Jack Swing went around. And the count one and two. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. This one lifted in the air, left field. Chorio settles under it and makes the catch. And the inning is over. Two left for Colorado. They're down four nothing. the top of the eight and now the first baseman Reese Hoskins with this kind of lead he can swing freely try to hit the ball out of the park do what he loves to do two balls at a strike here it comes in there at the knees gets a piece there we'll do it again 
Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And the righty deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Nobody out. Runner at first. In there. And so now one and two. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And that one's a little bit low. And the count's even at two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. That one just misses the outside corner, and it's three and two. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Righty delivers. Grounder might be two. The throw to second, over to first, safe. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. Perkins off of first with two away. Pickoff throw. Perkins back in on a dive. Two outs. Two balls. One in the dirt. Blocked. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Runner at second, two down. And we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. And on second, two down. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Milwaukee leaves one, but they lead it four to nothing. Here at Coors Field, out of the bottom of the eighth, here's the center fielder, Sam Hilliard. The Rockies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Terrain makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next for Colorado, the designated hitter, Brenton. Doyle. Here's Colorado's DH, Brenton Doyle. Bases empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. No, Just that's missed. Ball. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Bryce Wilson appears to be getting loose. Hudson warming up as well. And now the lefty. Fouls one off, two and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. 
Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Two down, nobody on. That one drilled left field. Churio going back on this one. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. That right there is a ball that's got to be caught. I think he just took a bad angle to it. It gets down and it ends up being a double. Man at second here with two away. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. Man at second. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Bounce to third. Monasterio. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. Second baseman. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden you get another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers, Elvis Piguero. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. First and third, two away. And here is Brendan Rodgers. Foul ball there. Runners on first and third, two away. Out to short. They get the force. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Justin Lawrence. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Now at the plate, Bryce Terang. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. I could yeah, watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Man at first, and here's the catcher, William Contreras. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Right-handed reliever. Towards first, and it goes just foul. Terang aboard here at first with nobody out. The punch out there, and a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Next is the designated hitter, Christian Yelich. Pickoff move to first. Terang back in standing. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. On the ground could be two. Rogers. Off balance feed. There's one. So up next, up next Willie Adamas. The shortstop, Willie Adamas. 